we know that Pokemon and Game Freak is a habit of hiding Pokemon in trailers, in video games, and everything in between. And I think we may have just found a brand new Pokemon from the Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra DLC. Let's jump into it, get yourselves ready, put those tinfoil hats on, and let's go. YouTube, it's your boy Dan, aka Drop. But guys, a brand new video today. Today we're gonna dive into Pokemon Sword and Shield, the Isle of Armor, Crown Tundra, and the newest trailers that have been revealed. And we are doing some deep diving and investigating into a potentially brand new Pokemon. Digging into the Regis, a potential new Reggie form. We're talking about all sorts of stuff. Rose and his maybe secret brother, cousin, who knows? There is so much to unpack in this video, so be sure to watch the entire thing. Make sure you guys like the video down below. Subscribe if you guys are new. Turn those notifications on and let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. But let's not waste any time. Let's jump into it. Before we jump into kind of the core focus of this video with the Galarian birds and Rose and everything else we're going to cover, including a new hidden Pokemon, I wanted to show you guys this commercial that was actually released in Japan last night, separate from the DLC trailers for the Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra. I did watch it last night briefly, but this is going to be me really watching it for the first time with you guys. All right, so let's jump into it. Nice big zoom in onto the Galar region, showing off some of the wild area, maybe kind of trying to set the stage for the fact that the DLC is going to be very much so like the wild area. We're going to see big Duraludon Stadium battle, and then it just shoots off to the Isle of Armor. Beautiful scene, some of the ones that we've seen before, and actually I'm going to pause there if I can go back a wee bit. Let me take a look. I went back a little too far, but uh, there was actually a very important Pokemon there. And let me show it to you guys. Ready? Let's see here. Boom, right there. Skarmory revealed for the Isle of Armor DLC right next to a Lycanroc. Skarmory previously had not been revealed up into this moment right here. So that's pretty cool information. Mustard, of course, throwing out his Kubfu, showing off the different Urshifu forms. There's Skarmory again, so they actually show it twice. We obviously know of Corviknight being kind of the new steel and flying type Pokemon. And then it discusses just a promo for the Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra. So not a ton of crazy information from this new commercial, but we do get confirmation of a Pokemon Skarmory making its return to Pokemon Sword and Shield. Before I jump into that new Pokemon, let's actually talk about the legendary bird trio first. We know that we're gonna get Galarian, Moltres, Articuno, and Zapdos, which actually have a new type triangle featuring Dark on Moltres, Psychic on Articuno, and Fighting on Zapdos. Now, aside from immunity mixed in there, these types all battle each other, and we've seen that these three legendary birds have been battling it out in front of this tree, and we really don't know what this tree means. It seems as though that these birds are fighting over something, and it's very weird that these legendary birds seem to have some sort of rivalry. Perhaps something on the tree is what's allowing us to get these apricorn balls. Perhaps it holds some sort of power to Gigantamaxing. There's a really a lot of questions about what this tree represents and why these legendary birds are actually throwing down in front of it. We know that the apricorn balls are coming back in a big way in the Isle of Armor, but we don't exactly know what that means. Is it possible that this tree actually features those apricorns to maybe get some new Pokeballs that can be used in max raid battles specifically for Gigantamax or Dynamax Pokemon? We do know that there's a new item called the Max Soup and perhaps that this tree is actually going to feature Feature ingredients used to make that max soup to allow Pokemon to Gigantamax. Maybe that's why the birds are throwing down and fighting in front of this tree in the first place. I definitely think there's more than meets the eye when it comes to this bird trio, and I expect there to be some secrets to be unveiled as we get to play through the Isle of Armor. The next thing I want to talk about is that hidden Pokemon, and it was my friend KG who actually has been doing the edits on my channel that brought this to my attention initially, and I said to him, man, that kind of looks like Hatterene or Hatina. Is that a Litwick? 
it can't be Vanillux, can it? And we basically brainstormed back and forth about which Pokemon this could potentially be. And it wasn't until I got actually multiple tweets from different people independently coming to me saying, hey, we found this hidden Pokemon. What do you think about it? That we really were like, wait a minute, we might have something really, really crazy here. Like I said, I never want to make a video calling out that this is going to be a brand new Pokemon in the DLC without actually feeling like this is new. But after searching and searching and searching, we simply could not find a Pokemon model in the overworld that actually fit this sprite. So it does seem as though that this might be an entirely new Pokemon that we've never seen before. We have two different screenshots that actually show this Pokemon. One is in the bright daylight type area and another is actually in a snowy area. And both of these instances is actually behind an Absol, but at different times. I doubt there's any relation to Absol, but it's very interesting to take a look at. It's also very possible that this Pokemon is featured in both the Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra, and that's why we see it in the two different settings, but there's so many question marks about this. What is this Pokemon? Is it something that already exists, or is it a brand new Pokemon that we've never seen before? I really, really need to know. If you have any thoughts or ideas about what this Pokemon could be, feel free to let me know in the comments section below. But at this point, I think the only way to move forward is to just assume that it is a brand new Pokemon that has been teased to us in the DLC trailer. We have this brand new Pokemon that we see in these previous screenshots, and there's another potential new Pokemon that a lot of people are speculating could be something special. We're introduced to a brand new character named Peony, who's actually gonna be kind of the head of the Crown Tundra exploration. Now, Peony is very interesting because he kind of looks like he could be related to Chairman Rose, and for those who don't know, a peonies is a type of flower, so there's a very, very likely connection to these two. Are they brothers? Are they cousins? Are they related in any sort of way? My gut says yes. They look way too similar to not be related, and perhaps Chairman Rose is gonna make a comeback in the DLC. As I mentioned, Peony has this icon on his head. A lot of people are speculating that this could be a brand new Pokemon or a representative of a new Pokemon. I'm thinking it simply has to do with the Pokemon jobs and might not have anything to do with a new Pokemon, but it's certainly very interesting and definitely worth considering as we kind of dive a little bit deeper into the Crown Tundra and the Isle of Armor. Our team did a ton of digging in. We have actually determined that there's a new company that is in the Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra DLC, and that is called the Rose Company. By going through the Galar alphabet, you can actually tease out the different letters here and it ends up spelling R-O-Z-E, which we can assume to be spelled out as Rose. It's interesting to note that the symbol on this logo is actually Meltan's nut, which may have some sort of tie into Meltan, Melmetal, and even Gigantamax Melmetal, which is yet to be announced, confirmed, or released by the Pokemon Company. We talked about the Max Soup earlier, and a lot of people are speculating that the Max Soup is how we're gonna get Gigantamax Melmetal in the first place. But considering the fact that Rose has this Rose Company that has the symbol for Meltan, and we know it has a Gigantamax Pokemon, Rose has his brother, cousin, whomever that might be, Peony, featuring in the Crown Tundra, it is very likely that Rose is not done with the Galar region at this point in time, and maybe making a comeback with his specialty type, the Steel type Pokemon, which just so happens to be the same type as Meltan. Now, there's a few screenshots when you actually zoom in, you can still see Chairman Rose in the background of the new Wind and Star Tournament. So it's very possible that he makes a return by the Crown Tundra, again, tied in with his potential brother, cousin, whomever, Peony. We really don't know, but this is some crazy stuff. The last thing I wanna dive into in this video is the Reggies. We know we are gonna get a number of new Reggie Pokemon. We got Reggie Eliki and Reggie Draco, which have been confirmed for the Crown Tundra and Isle of Armor DLCs. Now we know Reggie Gigas created Regice, Reggie Rock and Registeel in the past, and has said to be created these two new Pokemon, one of which is this crazy electric type spirit thing going on there. The other is the Dragon Head, which is shown outside of Hammerlock, that has a pretty similar resemblance to Charizard, let's be honest here. But when you break all this down and look really closely into the trailer, you can see that all of these temples feature Regigigas and the six dots from Regigigas, as well as the dots of the other Regis. Now, when we take a look directly at Regigigas, we notice that the six dots on his chest are actually representative of Regice, Registeel, and Regirock. However, one thing to note here is that there are no spaces for these two new Regis that were being revealed to. Because of this, I am theorizing that there is almost certainly going to be a Regigigas Gigantamax form or some sort of new form for Regigigas in general. We can also take a look at some of the screenshots and images from the trailer that indicate this dot pattern on the floor that might tell us a little bit about a puzzle we'll have to figure out. And we also see a teaser to Relicanth being showcased, which is one of the original Pokemon necessary to actually unlock the Regis going back to the Hoenn region. A big shout out to Floopips for this amazing fan art, by the way. This kind of showcases what we're discussing with Regigigas of the fact that it, it's missing those two extra dot patterns to represent the new Regis. So I am almost certainly concerned that there's going to be a big tie into Regigigas, whether it has some sort of a new form, whether it has a Gigantamax form. It only makes sense to me that it would incorporate the two new Regis, 
Reggie Eliki and Reggie Draco into its design. I think if there's one thing we can conclude from this video is that there's still plenty of secrets to uncover in the Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra DLC. I've only really just scraped the surface, but there's a lot of crazy things going on from a hidden Pokemon to the Galarian birds fighting it out over this secret berry tree that who knows what that actually means, but they definitely are fighting it out for something. We know that Rose has some sort of secrets and maybe coming back with his Rose company, some ties into Meltan, Melmetal, and Gigantamax Melmetal. We know that there's a new character called Peony who most certainly is related to Rose in the first place. And we also know that the Reggies have a lot of secrets that we don't know about yet as there's two new Reggies and Regigigas simply just does not have the dot pattern to represent that. It's almost certain that it's going to be getting a new Gigantamax form. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below. So please let me know what you think about the new Pokemon and all the other ideas presented in this video. Be sure to like the video, subscribe if you guys are new and get those notifications turned on. We've really been stepping up our quality over the last couple weeks here on the channel and I would really appreciate your support in those endeavors. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Dan. I also go by A-Drive and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.